Now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three-degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. Temperatures were in the upper 60s today, but look at the warm weather off towards our west. 70s and 80s, Rapid City very close to 90 degrees, and those temperatures are running about 10 to 20 degrees above normal. That's heading in our way this weekend, so get ready for some warm weather with temperatures approaching near 20 degrees above normal when our normal highs should be right around into the lower 70s. And then we're going to cool back down as we head into later next week. As for the time lapse this morning, it was a cloudy start, but then the sun started to break out as we dig it into the afternoon hours, and it was a pretty comfortable day. Light winds coming in out of the uh, west and southwest. We've got high pressure now moving in here, and it is going to be a clear night with calm winds before this area of low pressure moves in behind it. That's going to bring in the chance of a few showers and storms. To talk about storms, there's been a tornado watch earlier in the day along the east coast as a strong cold front boundary passes through and then off towards our west, that area of low pressure that'll be impacting us tomorrow. Right now encompassing a marginal and a slight risk of severe weather. For tomorrow, the risk of severe weather remains to the west. And then on Sunday, same thing, but there will be a stronger risk of storms on Sunday. As for us, with a ridge of high pressure and a strong southwest flow, it looks like we'll be kind of on the dry side of things. The skies are slowly clearing off to the east. You have completely clear skies west of the I-41 corridor, and that clear weather is going to move in here. But with the clear skies and calm winds tonight, as temperatures fall down, we could have the potential for some patchy, dense fog, especially west of the Fox Valley. When you're waking up tomorrow morning, especially right around Clintonville, Wapaka, Shawano areas up towards Anago. Could see a little bit of some low visibilities, but by the late morning hours, with the wind starting to pick up, we are going to see that fog quickly erode, and we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds before we turn more cloudy. So skycast shows as we head into the overnight, we'll have some increasing clouds by the morning hours, and then by the afternoon, this is 1 o'clock, showing a few light rain showers. Maybe a rumble of thunder, but it doesn't look to be too impressive to support support a lot of thunderstorm growth that comes to an end tomorrow evening after seven o'clock or so and then we'll have partly cloudy skies overnight into Sunday morning before we start to warm things up into the low 80s on Sunday afternoon temperatures or excuse me uh, precipitation wise not a whole lot of rain mostly under a tenth of an inch so pretty much going to be a light rain event now going all the way through next week Wednesday it doesn't look like a whole lot of rain is expected. We are talking about under a quarter of an inch total, and that's why the Climate Prediction Center for the 6 to 10 day outlook is showing below average chance of rainfall. So after dealing with some areas close to two inches of rain yesterday and the day beforehand, now we're going to the complete opposite once again. But one thing for certain, it is going to start to warm up. High temperatures tomorrow getting up into the low 70s. Normal high 71, and some areas will likely get into the lower 70s. Then for the next few days afterwards, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, the humidity will be returning. Dew points getting into the mid and upper 60s. That's going to make it feel a little bit uncomfortable out there. So for tonight, cooling off into the upper 40s with uh, mostly clear skies and calm winds. Then for tomorrow, we'll get up into the lower 70s. Watch out for a chance of a rumble of thunder, a few light rain showers, breezy winds southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. 70 forecast, keeping on into the low 80s on Sunday, 90 on Monday for Memorial Day. Same thing on Tuesday, a chance of a uh, maybe a shower or storm on Tuesday. Then Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, cooling down into the lower 70s. Okay, Gino, thank you. And still ahead here on NBC 26 News at 5, the effect in.